Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Sarah. I'm Jess. So today we are going to be showing you some Adopt Me tips and tricks. So right now we're heading over to the campsite. Um, make sure you do the campsite tasks and the tasks that are orange because they give you more money. Orange tasks give you more than blue tasks. If you don't have much time though, do the orange ones instead of blue. Your house quickly, just reset. Yeah, yes. and you'll still have like the tasks and stuff, yeah. so you'll still get, still get the money. Yeah. So you're probably going to think straight away, well I want to get a legendary, but you don't. Instead, you want to level up the small pets. Since you'll start off with a common anyway, you may as well get more, build that up to a neon, and then um, trade it for a bigger pet. Um, as you can see on this chart that I'm going to show in a minute, you're most likely going to get a common from this egg, since it's quite cheap. So you can get as many, like four of these I'd say. If you're lucky to get a legendary, they're well done. So to get a neon, which is what you're going to want to be aiming for, you need four of the same pets that are adults, fully grown. And then you'll have to take them down to the crystal caves, put them together and you should get a neon. I'm hatching the pet immediately, like, I, I advise not spending Robux on hatching it. Yeah, like, literally only need, like, tasks. five tasks, I think. If you want to get more money, play as a baby instead. So, um, pianos, like, showers, beds, and, uh, food and water bowls. So, this is more of a roleplay house and a decorative house, and, like, Jess's, which is a grinding house. So, in here, I have some things that aren't really used but let's just get right into it i guess so over here i have a bathtub as you can kind of see um i have another one in here which is my pet room um two of everything is good if you play with friends a lot if not completely fine um so two pet beds as i've said because i play with friends a lot and i also have a food and water bowl on the floor so here i have a seating area with a tv and then to my left, I have a bed, which is kind of unneeded since pets can't use it and it doesn't do anything to the players. And here I have like a kettle and cup sort of thing um, where you can get drinks from, which is also handy if you're playing as a baby. So as you're going around the map doing whatever you want to do, you'll notice that your pet is going to become sick. So you'll either have to go to the hospital, which is where we are right now, or you can get healing apples. Um, we're quite new to this update, um, it came quite recently, so just get a few of these. So we're going into a different room in the hospital. Now we're going to do a few more tasks. So there are cribs in here which you can also put your pet in and they'll sleep. There's a food and water bowl, I think. Well, I'm pretty sure anyway. Oh yeah. Oh no. no it's not food, but water. That's the same sort of stuff. Also, when you get the golden apples, if, for example, you leave the game and join back, you won't have the apples anymore, because um, they'll be gone from your inventory, so you have to come back. But it's really handy, especially when you're try trying to, like, quickly level up your pets, so get them. If your pet is hungry, or if you're hungry as a baby or whatever, um, you can, yeah, you can just pick them up. And... Yeah, and also, um, you can get as many as you want of these. Um, I'm not sure if they stay um i'm not entirely sure um i would advise not logging off and then coming back on because again the golden apples and i think it might be the same for these sandwiches but yeah those are some ways to just get free food and free help um also if you go to the pizza place you can get one free drink um you can get a free drink drink it and then get another one but you can't have more than one at the same time so what you want to do is learn your values so you see how i have a robin and an otter so i don't know why i'm showing dogs right now but like okay anyway so um the robin would be worth more than the otter because the robin has been out of game for longer so you might want to search up um i don't know so you're trading trying to find like an example if you were trading a dragon for a baku which i'm probably not saying that right but yeah um if you're doing that 
then the dragon will be worth more because the dragons are okay. Always be careful with trades and stuff like that because you can get scammed. We'll probably make a video on that, different types of scamming, how to avoid it. But if you do get scammed, report them by doing this. So go to report, select the person, select why, what they're doing, and then you can add extra detail if you need to. Also, another quick tip. As you can see, Jess has a Southeast Asia egg. So if you have enough money, get one of these. Obviously, hatch it, see what you get. But then keep one because later that year or maybe in a few years in a few weeks maybe even a couple of days after the egg is gone that egg will be worth way more than beforehand so as you can see um i have a mythic egg if i go back up yeah i have a mythic egg which i'm saving to trade later um yeah just keep that in mind that is it for today thank you so much for watching goodbye i just like to say thank you so much to our very very first subscriber thank you so so much for your support